And there was some, there was mayhem in the main event Sunday night. You could say, you did that. I, yeah, right. really? usually better at that. I like but it. I like it. Yeah, because Malik Montgomery's nickname is Mayhem. Yeah. I think it should be Malik <laughs> the Freak, by the way. <laughs> Malik the Freak. And come out to come out to Freaks come out at night. No, little Houdini. No. What's, what's the M three about? Uh, it's three of them. Three brothers, three Montgomery. Oh, brothers. oh like yeah, like my other guy mm-hmm. from the Olympics, Keyshawn. Yeah, he yeah. does. Oh, yeah, he always throws. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay, yep. I like that. Yeah. So it's Malik, eleven and 0, 10 Kales, Makai, Mikhail. Mikhail is uh, Mikhail. Ooh, is four Mikhail. and zero. Four and zero now. And who's the and third brother? The third brother, his name is Michael. Michael's no longer fighting. Okay. So okay. yeah, the long story short is uh, those guys just when they turned pro, they didn't have uh, everything that that they needed to keep moving Structure. forward. Yeah. Uh, Macau has been out of the ring for two years. Um, so, and my dad said that today. He said, I was so happy for this kid after the fight that I, I cried. And uh, he says, you got to you gotta take into account that this dude's been out of the ring for two years. He's going to punch you for saying that. But. He might. Um, it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, he's softening up, y'all. He's softening up. I know. I, softening I can up. see it. Yeah. I can he's, see it. Yeah. 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 I think, I think that's what's doing it to him. Yeah, cool. I had kids on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but, training uh, camp's been a little too hard. Let me, let me but he but he says this kid's been out of the ring for two years, and more more often more often more times than not, a guy who's been out of the ring that long does not survive. Yeah. They, and Mikel yes. has a job, and mm-hmm. mikel has got kids, and he's got to feed his kids, so on and so forth. When I turned pro, my dad gave me the rules. He says he says no women, no kids, and no job. And I said. Why can't I have a job? He says, you need to devote all your time to boxing. You can't have anything pulling you away from, from the sport. He Stay said, of course. Yeah. And he said, so he said no job instead of no woman first. He said, he said, no women, no kids, no job. I'd have been on the, you mean, what do you mean? No women. I, the yeah. job is beautiful. You wouldn't I, have got no pushback. Listen, there. man, it, it's always <laughs> something that's going to, that's going to take, take you out. You know what I mean? So my dad, I think my dad did the best he could to, to cover the bases that he knew of. Yeah. That that takes a, a lot of these guys out. You know, my dad knows that I'm not into drinking and alcohol and or, or and drugs and and partying and things like that. He he knew he didn't have to say that, but my dad said, "Hey, no women, no babies, because <laughs> uh, we can't be tied down." And I was moving a lot when we first turned pro and all that. So for Mikael to get in the ring, my dad said he's been out of the ring in two years. I'm not putting him in the ring with nobody that can do anything with him at all. Yeah. I just want him to get in the ring, Probably get paid, fair. Yeah. get paid, yeah. and then we'll move forward beyond that. So yeah. a lot like uh, uh, like Malik, my dad's got Mikael going in like three weeks, two, like three weeks, I think. So Go back home, kiss your baby, come right back. Yeah. My dad said that today. I said, I, I said, I said. So when they coming back, you know, like I, I want guys with me to keep me going and everything, yeah, yeah. and you know, what I'm saying I I'm gonna miss him a little bit. I'm like, when they coming back? He said, Well, Mikel will be back like Thursday. I said, <laughs> I said, Oh yeah, he'll be right back. He said he going home to see his babies and he coming That's back. It. Hendry also picks up one. So, Hendry got a win. Hendry looked good. Mm-hmm. Hendry had a guy took him, like, I believe, three rounds in this fight, and uh, and and the, and the guy just took a lot of shots. Um, it was was unorthodox. You see that a lot early yeah. on in your career, and um, you and need guys like that. Hendry, yeah, yeah, and Hendry's the kind of kid like his style is unorthodox. He has a Dominican style, like he's you know he's fresh, you know the movement, you know, kind of like athletic. the salsa, kind of like the salsa dancing, you know what I mean? Very athletic and coordinated, and uh, and and his coordination. Funny you saying that because his coordination did not match this guy's <laughs> unorthodox style, so. Hendry had to get his hands up and actually use a jab and use straighter punches than than he typically would. A lot of his stuff is it's smooth, it's uh it's different. Hendry's an athlete. Hey, the more Hendry gets comfortable with the English language, that's a, he's a star. Yeah, yeah, for sure. He's a yeah, star yeah, for sure. Yes. For sure. He got the attitude, he just don't feel comfortable. No, you're yet, right. Yeah. But he uh, And he likes it. I, I loves he it. He loves it. Loves it. <laughs> <laughs> My dad, get my dad gets bothered. My dad's like, "Here you go, Instagram again." <laughs> la, la bazooka. <laughs> yeah, la bazooka. Hey, a guy that could switch fight both ways. Yeah. Important sparring partner, maybe um, yeah. for getting ready for a guy who switched both ways. Yeah. But, and Malik yeah. also. He, kind of. Yeah, yeah he came about. out southpaw, yeah. even though Sean had to tell Ray Floyd, "Not a southpaw." Yeah. yeah. I mean, poor Ray Flores. He sees the guy coming out first round yeah. southpaw. Yeah. You think he's a southpaw? Yeah. Sure, Sean wasn't yeah. right, man. He was using like Ray would say Not something. Sean be like, "Hold on, yeah. no." Yeah. I'm like, "Come on, man." Yeah. Understand, you know him because I because I didn't. That's that's an important part of the fight, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I don't want him, you know. I was, I I was, it was just funny. I was (laughs) watching, and then all of a sudden, I was like. I don't remember him being a southpaw. And then I was like, wait a second, now he's orthodox. Was I was I imagining that yeah. when that happened earlier? Yeah. But 
Yeah, the team porter. Well, he, just swept it up. Just give props to Kenny, man. My dad, me and my, my my dad's man. My dad's evolving, and it's cool. Like I'm seeing it like right before my eyes. He's he's evolving, because uh, I didn't know I didn't know the game plan. Yeah. Uh, of course, I've been I haven't been sparring with with Malik in in some month in about a month or so, but. He he's been sparring. He will switch in his sparring, but typically he's been orthodox in his sparring. I didn't know the game plan, so Ladies see him come out. That's what he, that's what you're doing. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay, I'm feeling it. Um, <laughs> Jimmy, that's my guy. Jimmy. Uh, so, <laughs> um, so to see him come out southpaw, I knew like my dad had something in mind. Yeah. You know, so and, and just to give props to him, you know, you guys mentioned Michael, uh, Michael. Um, Sorry, my God, that's my guy. Uh, you know that he he was working for two years, hasn't been able to fight for two mm -hmm. years. Malik too was a guy, you know, was working in the factories down there in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. I mean, blue collar, hard, hard yeah. work, ten hour days. Yeah. You know, my man Ann knows something about that, and yeah. and he he was a real blue collar guy. Already has his his family, and for Kenny to get those two brothers and then to go down to the Dominican Republic, yeah. literally searching for talent and, and getting out of the, out of the jungles, getting Hendry Martinez. And <laughs> that's his words. My dude said he went to the jungle. That's what your dad said. He went in the jungles to get talent. And he did. And he, he comes back with Hendry. Kenny's not really making any money right now no. working with these guys, no. but he's taking young men who didn't have these opportunities mm -hmm. and, 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 and again, it's not like this great benefit to Kenny just yet. He's investing, maybe hoping they become something. Maybe then he could reap some of the benefits. Mm -hmm. But I really don't think your father's doing it for that. Mm -hmm. I just want to give props to KP because he took these young guys who, whose careers weren't taken off right away. Mm -hmm. and, and he's got them and he's working with them and he got the main events. He's getting them paid more money than they've ever made in their life from boxing or not boxing. Yeah. And uh, I just wanted to, you know, salute, salute to my man, KP. He's trying to, he's trying to, uh, trying to figure it out. And he's, uh, and he's got some other guys that he's really trying to help and, 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 and help turn pro and, and, and move along. Hey, shout out to the Davidson brothers out there. Marcus in and Marcel. Yeah. They, yeah. Though they're got, they're right behind as well. You know, my dad's, reaching out and just trying to help. And that is really, is just, you need help in boxing yeah. and it comes so far and few in between. And, and the thing about it is like, that is, that's bigger than the money, but the money always trumps the help. The money always trumps the support. And so my dad is, he tells all these guys when they come in, like, I don't need anything from you. I'm not doing this for me. I don't need your, I don't need your percentages from your, from your fights. I'm, I'm good. I don't have to train anybody at all. I'm doing this because I want to do it and I want to help you be successful. And that's kind of something that my dad and I, we pride ourselves on. We're like, I, I love seeing success. There's people that I reach out just seeing that they've been successful. Yo, what do you need at this point? Can I, can I do anything to help you move forward? And this has been guys, I'm not even going to say anybody's names on this, on this podcast, but there've been professional fighters that, that reach out to me and I all, I tell them all the same thing. I don't want anything from you at all, but when you need something, if you need anything, let me know because I understand that I needed that. And it, and it's, I have my dad, but not too many people have their father. Not too many people have a manager who's willing to do more. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, um, th those guys are all in good hands and my dad really is, man. He's a, he's a, he's a good dude. I think it took me a long time to really understand it. Just the way that I was bred and, and brought up and especially Especially in the sport, but seeing my dad branch out and work with other guys has been—it's been unique to see, and it's been special for me too. So it gets, a bad, it gets a bad rap overall, I think, in boxing. Yeah, he's from an era where men were men. Take a look at my dad in the. <laughs> take a look at my dad in like the first three rounds of that fight. They're going to the corner, <laughs> and you, you, Malik won, and for me, my scorecard, Malik won the first two rounds, and he lost the second two rounds. So that's four rounds, and in four rounds, my dad is was really energetic. Yeah, he was throwing punches, like, do it like this. All that. Like, no, that's your perception that he won around. <laughs> that Jordan play. Yeah. Shout I out said, to Jordan, Jordan. Get out of there. Please Shout don't go KP, back. Man. She I don't, just doing her she can handle it. Sean, I, said, she, I don't she, want you to go back, ahead. Jordan. Don't go she back. Can. Yeah. So um, she killed it too, but though. but that's who he is. And when people see that energy that don't understand it, they they may get it misconstrued. And that's why I said on air, I said, you know, we see 
this energy coming from my dad, but Malik, I said, look at Malik's face. Mal- Malik understands it. He sees it all the time in the yeah. gym. You know what I mean? So, How did he not get tired, man? He was. Hey, <laughs> that's the team Porter work rate. Yeah. That's Sean Porter that's 10 years ago. <laughs> Sean ain't got that no <laughs> more. Cool. Don't say that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sean got that some more. You go 25 rounds. That's, that's, that's a combination of. Kenny Porter, Coach Wade. We, uh, uh, fight camp, Carson. Hey, Car- if, Carson's on the 25 rounds for Sean now. Now, now, now he's Sean, not if, it, yeah. You win the fight. If you, were, if you do what he did, yeah. you got this fight. What he, Hands down. I think he was like 96, 96, 90, 96 punches around. Yeah. That it was impressive, you know, and I think that the this I, I'm very confident that he 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 got some film that he can look at and, and grow and learn from. Yeah. He's a smart, ed, in, uh, intelligent kid. Uh, he's very humble and he wants to get better. You know what I mean? He's he's not one of those guys that thinks he's got it all yeah. and is just kind of waiting on that opportunity for a world championship title. Like he knows that he needs to improve and we can see there yeah. that he's that he's got a lot that he needs to improve and, on. And knowing you need to improve and being willing to improve might be the most important thing. And I'm going to keep it real with boxer. y'all. I spar with him. So I knew like the punches that he was going to hit with, I knew that he was going to get hit with them because I spar with him. You know what I mean? So I think he's got a lot to uh, to look at and, and learn from, and I think he will. He, he made some adjustments here and there in terms of his defense where he was able to uh, offense defense really quickly, and that's what you needed against uh, uh, Aleem. Uh, give give his last name a, a shot. Uh, <laughs> J- Juma. Jumakanov. Jumakanov. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so why are you doing like that? Because <laughs> he the one. He, he'll do it. That's Carson. Yeah, Carson. 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 I'm like this. Sean, just anytime I'm listening to you do a commentary, he you, said, you find wait. an easier name, whether it's the first or the last Yeah, name, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean's always like, all right, Aleem, yeah, I got that. I tell y'all what, man. I stepped it up on the Olympic Games, and yeah. I was proud of myself. I was like, I can't shy away from these last Ooh, names yeah. because- Tough to at that this point. Is, yeah, I was like, this, this is who these people are going to yeah. be. You know what I mean? So- Aleem uh, Jumakanov has been in the ring a few times and we've seen him on TV. You've never seen those kids at the games on TV. So yeah. I was like, I can't shy away from these. Yeah. But yeah, on fight night, uh, Sunday night, I said Aleem. Yeah. And I'm going to stick with Aleem. Yeah. <laughs> it's all, Is it's he talking about good. Raiz Aleem? Oh no, okay, never mind. Yeah. And he's uh, a very humble kid. I think I probably heard him say 20 words and I've been around him a few times. Yeah. yeah. Great uh, kid. He needs a he needs a Kenny Porter though. Yeah. He needs a Kenny Porter to be the mouth. He's yeah. kind of like Sean, really. Yeah. Sean will talk more than than I think Malik will, but yeah. Malik now though. Yeah. Maybe Malik, yeah. You ain't yeah. talk a lot back in the day nah. too. He was uh-uh. real mm-hmm. quiet, humble guy. Yeah. But now you know how to sell a fight. Yeah. Which, and that, and that's a part of the uh, right. the, the growth process as well because in the amateurs you didn't have to talk. You just mm-hmm. went to you went to tournaments, and my whole thing was I'm gonna shine and be the best at this tournament, not just in my weight class, you know. And so that just was like how I always was, and I kind of was like the same way as a professional yeah. when the first turn. It was talk like you know, I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna do it with my fists, and uh, you know, let that speak for itself. But you kind of you learn that you know people want want a little bit more than that, at least a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't need to be. Yeah. Too far, no, but yeah. Ali, Floyd. Yeah. These, these guys talk. What's up? I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Ant. Follow me on IG. Ant with two T's. Let's do All it. Right, Let's here, do one. it again. Let's All do right. it again. Just introduce yourself. Okay. And then tell them, and then you tell them what to do. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Brenno. Carson A. Merck. Like, subscribe, comment. This is the Porter Way.